um, I had to look for my patient's respiratory rate and their tidal volume. Their tidal volume you'll find out because it'll be part of the physician's. It's going to be part of the physician's physician. workup sheet, and they get the tidal volume. Um, everyone has a predicted tidal volume based on sex and height. Okay. And so the doctor is going to write this order for you. So you're going to make sure that you've checked the physician's order. Right. Okay, good. So you, now you've checked the physician's order. Okay, what kind of? Birth, no. Yeah. Is there any kind of other things in the chart that you would want to check? Well, I'm going to want to check their like their saturation levels and just different things like that. I also want to know what kind of surgery they actually had. So okay, I'm their diagnosis. Sure Okay, good. And when intubated patient, knowing their lungs, things that you would probably want to look at too is chest x-ray, yeah. ABGs, blood work, okay. okay, physician's notes, progress notes, okay. any of those kind of notes, blood work. Okay. okay. After you're sure that you have a valid order okay. and you've valid got and valid and settings and the T-bar 40% and you know that you need to do a double high flow, Go I've for got it. my equipment gathered, so I need to wash my hands. As I'm coming in, I'm introducing you can use myself it. to my patient. Hi, my name's Ashley. I'm from respiratory. Yeah. Hi, Ashley. This is my brother, Bill Trake. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bill Trake. How are you today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't speak very much with that tube in your mouth, huh? Okay, well, the doctor is wanting to get you off of that, so we're going to do what he calls a T, what they call a T-bar trial. I'm going to hook you up. Um, since your brother's in the room, I'm going to be explaining this to both of y'all. Um, anytime you have someone who's on oxygen, oxygen supports combustion, so we can't have any smoking. There is no lotions um, unless you get them from the nurse. If you need some, just let them know. They'll get you whatever you need. Um, I just drew a blank on one of mine, so don't panic. I will get back to it. How would it make him, make him feel, the oxygen? Well, the oxygen can make you a little lightheaded and a little little bit dizzy, so that's something that, you know, we, we want to avoid if we can. If you do start feeling any of that, find a way to, you know, let us know. Okay. So I'll watch him closely for you. Okay. And no smoking now. Okay, good. Yes, okay. definitely and no limit, smoking. And limit the electronic devices, too. That can give off some electrical current, and that can some stuff, but we don't want any of that. Okay, so Sounds I'm good. going to check his bracelet um, for his medical record number, date of birth, name. He looks like the patient that is listed in my doctor's chart. You know, he is the 30-year-old. And it's male, verified. You got it's it. it's verified. So I know that I have the correct patient. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I need to get my equipment, and I'm going to set it up piece by piece. Okay, why don't you just bring all the equipment that you want and just set it on the table. Okay. Now what? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start hooking up my patient. Uh, da, da, da. So you've just explained everything. You gathered all your equipment. You ID'd your patient. I saw you wash your hands. Mm -hmm. You made sure me, the family member, I understood. The patient understood what you were doing. And you asked me if I had any questions. What's next?
patients feel comfortable with me being in the room, keep them relaxed, because I mean, being in the hospital is a stressful environment. You know, you just, you want to make your patients happy and do your job as correctly as possible. Very good. Water trap. Water trap. Be careful not to let that drop on the floor. Okay. Obviously, this thing is going to come back. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So you want me, you want my brother just to nod to you? Yeah, just nod to me, blink twice if it's okay, once if it's not. We're going to assume he blinked twice if it was okay. okay. And analyzed at 40%, that's good. We're analyzing at our 40%. Everything looks good. I'm going to recheck his heart rate, respiratory rate, sac color, and level of dyspnea as I'm sitting here doing this. Um, everything's looking good. Patient says it feels pretty good. Looks like the T-bar trial is going well. So hopefully we can go ahead and estimate our patient. Okay, now what? Um, I'm going to let them know that if they need anything or anything doesn't feel right, let the nurse know. I'll come right back to them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave, get ready to leave the room. I'm going to wash my hands again before I leave. I'm going to go out and I'm going to chart. Everything that I just did with my patient. Very good.